Hey guys, I am back to show you another way to use partial products. This time we're going to be doing it with multiplication. Um, so again, partial product just means to take a number and break it down into its parts. So I'm going to show you a couple of examples with some multiplication problems. We're going to start with this multiplication problem here, 21 times 14. We're going to break that 21 down into its expanded form, which just means 20 plus 1. And then we're going to take the 14 and do the same thing. We're going to break it down into its tens plus its ones. Now with multiplication, we have to multiply each of these numbers down here times each of the numbers up top. So what I do is I start with this number with the number 4 and I multiply 4 times 1 and that just goes underneath here. Then I'm going to multiply 4 times 20. Most kids know that if you have a number with a zero at the end, you can just cover that zero up and do four times two, and then add in that zero onto the end. So four times two is eight, but I'm gonna have an extra zero on the end, so that makes it 80. Same thing with 10 times one. I'm done with this number now. I'm gonna shift over to the 10. 10 times one is 10. And then 10 times 20, well again, if I cover up those two zeros, I know that 2 times 1 is 2. Then I have two zeros to add into the end of my problem. So I have those two zeros plus the 2 on the front. Now I'm just going to add all of those uh, products up. 4, 9, and 2. So I come up with 294. I'm going to show you another problem with a little bit uh, a little bit bigger problem. We have a three digit number times a two digit number here. It works the same way. I'm going to take this 155 and break it down into its parts. 100 plus 50 plus 5. And then my 13, since I don't have any hundreds here, I'm going to leave that blank. And I have 10 plus 3 to notate my 13. Again, I know that any number down here, I have to multiply times all of the numbers up at the top. So I'm going to start with my 3. 3 times 5, 15. 3 times 50 is the same as 3 times 5 with a 0 added on to the end of it, so I've got 150. And then 3 times 100 is 300. I'm done with that 3, now I'm going to move over to my 10. 10 times 5, 50. 10 times 50, again, I've got two zeros, so that means I'm going to have two zeros in my answer, and then 1 times 5 is 5. And then here, 10 times 100, I've got 1, 2, 3 zeros, 1, 2, 3 zeros, and then 1 times 1 is 1. Add all of those numbers up. 11. So I come up with 2015. So again, this is a little bit more notation, more writing over here, but it's a good step until you can get to a place where you can write all of your products underneath your original problem. So once your students know how to do that, <clears throat> they can simply write all of their products underneath their original problem. Now this does take some knowledge in place value, so they have to be comfortable with their place value. But again, once you have practiced that other way, this way should be a lot easier. <clears throat> I'm going to show you with this example. 4 times 3 is 12. And this way, 4 times 40, not 4 times 4, but 4 times 40 is 160. And I'm just going to write them all, list them all down here underneath my original problem. This is 20 times 3 and then 20 times 40. Add all of those numbers up. 6 plus 6 is 12, plus 1 more is 13. 8 plus 1 is 9, plus 1 more is 10 to get 1,032. So that's how to do partial products. I hope you like my video. Please go check out my other videos. Thanks.